please take the time to read the full warning message of this video. This video is meant for educational purposes only and to install Windows 11 on a virtual machine. Watch you guys, got another video here for you on an easy way to install Windows 11 on any unsupported PC hardware. Now there's quite a few ways of going about doing this and I have made videos on this in the past, but quite a few people have pointed me to this PowerShell script and said they want to know how to use it and how to install or upgrade Windows 11 on unsupported hardware using this PowerShell script. So I thought I'd make a video and show you how to do it. So this is the actual uh, script here. You can see it's called Force Windows 11 Install and uh, Joseph M101 is the creator. So go to code and then download the zip file. And this will download the file that you need to be able to use it to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So I'm going to extract this by clicking on Extract All. And this will extract all of the files uh, that we need to install or upgrade Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So this is the folder here. You can see there's a bunch of uh, files inside here which we can use inside PowerShell. So now we've got all of those files extracted, we're going to need to get ourselves a Windows 11 ISO. So we can head over to Microsoft and download the Windows 11 ISO from their website. So just go over there. I'll leave the link in the video description. It's always best to use the ISO from Microsoft because you know it's safe and it's come directly from the uh, creator, which is Microsoft themselves. So just hit the 64-bit download and download this on your PC. There is no 32-bit for Windows 11, so there's only going to be 64-bit. So just download this. It does take a bit of time to come down, so be patient. And once you've got this down, we'll have it on our desktop. So this is it here, and I'm going to rename this to something a little bit more easier because we will be typing this out. So make it something simple like Win11 or whatever it is you want to call your ISO file. So I've got mine called Win11. I'm now going to drop this into our folder in the root directory of that folder. As you can see, the file is now inside there. This is the easiest way to do this, and this makes it super easy to install or upgrade Windows 11. Next, we need to double click on this ENV file, which is a batch file, and then you'll get this window popping up. Click on Run Anyway, and now this will open up PowerShell as administrator. So we should have PowerShell open now, just like this here. Now, before we can run any sort of scripts on this system, we need to use the unrestrict command, and this is going to allow us to run scripts on this PC. So you can see here, this is the command here we need to uh, put out. It's called execute policy unrestricted, and you can restrict it after you finished if you wish. But this is going to allow us to uh, run scripts on this PC. So I'm going to push enter, and now we need to type A to say yes for all. So type A and push enter again, and this will take us on to the next step, which is basically running the right script in that package that we extracted a little bit earlier. So let's go back and take a look inside the folder and I'll show you exactly the script that we're going to run here. It's this one here called win11-tpm-regbypass, right? So that's the one we need to uh, run inside the PowerShell uh, prompt box here. So let's go ahead and do this now. I'll show you how to do it. It gives you all this information on the website as well. I'll leave all the links in the video description. So what we're going to do here is start typing out our command. And this will be the dot backslash win11. And once we start typing this out, you can use the tab key to tab through the PowerShell files as I'm doing here. And you can see it now. It's found the win11-tpm-regbypass.ps1. Then we do a space and then dash source. And then we need to uh, put in the parentheses and we want to do win11.iso, which is the ISO which we want to create. So we're going to call it win11.iso. And then put parentheses and then space dash destination. And this will be the destination of the actual file that we're going to create, which is now going to be space preferences. And I'm going to call my one at win11tpm.iso. So what this script is going to do is use the windows11.iso file which we downloaded from microsoft which is our source file and it's going to go to the destination and create a new iso file with our reg bypass in it called win11tpm 
So the Win11 TPM.ISO is the file that it's going to create, which is the file that I've named. You can call that whatever you like, whatever's more recognizable for you. So I'm going to type this out and uh, push enter. You'll notice I did make a typo there. TMP I put dot ISO, but it doesn't really matter. It's just the ISO file. Once that's done, we need to type R and then push enter. And this will then uh, run the actual script. And you can see it will start checking and it will then start to create the ISO file. I'll skip this part, but it just goes through and you'll see a black prompt box popping up here, which is now creating our ISO file. And you should now see image has been completed. So now with that done, you can always check the website where you got the script from and it will tell you the usage and how to use it. Exactly how I showed you here is all listed on the website. You can also see it explains all about the source and destination. And there is also some extra switches which you can use, which is called prepare upgrade as well. So this is very useful. Uh, so we've got our ISO file which we can use to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. But you can also type out this command, the dot backslash uh, win11-tpm-regbypass.ps1. And then you can do space dash prepare upgrade, push enter. And it will do a bunch of requests to say, do you want to uh, run this? So you can see here, type R. And this will run uh, once. So we can type R. And now it's going to say, are you sure you want to do this? And I'm going to type Y for yes. And this will prepare the upgrade on this system for us. And it's that simple. Now, of course, we do already have that ISO file, which has already been prepared, which we can then create a bootable uh, USB flash drive with our Windows 11 on it and install it on other machines if you want to. You can see the system has now been patched and it's ready for upgrade. So all you need to do now is go back into your project folder here and there we have our uh, ISO file we created, our Win11 TPM, but I've named it TMP by accident when I did the command, but it doesn't really matter. We can double click on the setup file now, and this will go ahead and start to upgrade this unsupported machine here. And you can see install Windows 11, and we want to change how the setup is downloading our drivers and stuff because we don't want to update Windows during this process in case it removes any sort of keys that we've added in during the prepare upgrade process accept their terms conditions it will get a bunch of things ready and then it will say what needs attention click ok here and then we can click next and it will go ahead and start to install windows as you can see here very simple and easy to do i've cut a lot of this process out it does work and it works pretty well and again you now have that iso file with all of the bypass built into it. You can also use Rufus to do this and you can use the Shift F10 uh, during the installation and make registry edits uh, the way Microsoft tell you to if you want to use it on unsupported hardware. Whatever way suits you, this is an education channel where we teach you how to do things in many different ways. Choose which one suits you and use that method. It's pretty straightforward. And once this is all done, you should be at the desktop with Windows 11 on some unsupported hardware. You can see all of our data is still intact and on the desktop. And that's pretty much it. That's basically how you can go about installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware using a PowerShell script. And again, this will work on any sort of PC that's not supported. So do I recommend you install or upgrade Windows 11 on unsupported hardware? The answer to that is no even though you can do it. If you want to do it for educational purposes or you want to do some practice on something, you can use a virtual machine or something along those lines. But I wouldn't do this on your main system because Microsoft have warned that they could end up blocking security updates on unsupported hardware. So be warned that this is always a risky business when using it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this sort of video. Check out my YouTube channel. I have over 2,500 videos on my channel about building computers, fixing things, and also how to do things just like this. So check out my playlist. I've got plenty of them on there. Also, if you want to uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. If you want to support me financially, you can always hit the join button next to the subscribe button. And there's three tiers of support with three different payment methods. It is a recurring payment, but you can cancel at any time. 
you do get some extra added perks and you can end up getting your name rolling up on the screen on the end credits of my videos now if you want to join our discord server it's free to join and we've got a growing community over there also we run some tech support over there for people that are having technical issues with their computers and we've got some awesome people over there helping out with that sort of stuff as well Anyway, that's going to be about it for me. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Leave your video requests in the comments section below and I'll do my best to make those videos for you, just like this one here. Bye for now.